everybody. We're back with the host of NPR's Fresh Air, Terry Gross. Well, I, I have to say, one of, one of the reasons why I like being interviewed by you is that I get in, I've been interviewed a lot over the years. And we, we just did an interview, as the, the people at home will find out. When, when is it going to be on? It's going to be on tomorrow. It's going to be on tomorrow. And when it was over, Evie, my wife, said, how did it go? And I said, oh, uh, it, was, it was good. I, I don't think I'd have been asked those questions before. Which oh, is which, really? is, oh, which is hard at this point, <laughs> which is hard yeah. at this point to do. And you also, um, in, in the gentlest possible way, you become, you, you get very intimate, as you were saying, with the guests. You talk about life and death and grief and crisis. And, and I'm wondering what, what you have talked about or who you've spoken to this year, or are there any particular interviews that you think were particularly resonant this year when all of us were living in this continuous crisis of COVID, among other things? Well, I think, you know, cumulatively, they gave a sense of like, we're all, we're all dealing with, with this in our own way. And um, for me, as the interviewer, <laughs> it was kind of interesting because I, I don't know if you go through this, Stephen, but what I go through, I, I spent a lot of time working and preparing for interviews, including on the weekend. So th there's so many like Sundays, for instance, when I've been home, like reading a 600 page book for the next day's interview, thinking like everyone else is at the beach <laughs> or like everyone else is having brunch and two glasses of wine. And I'm on page 200 of the 600 page book. And like during the pandemic, I stopped doing that. I stopped thinking like, Everybody else is having fun, and I'm working on Sunday. I'm thinking, like, we're all in this together. Like, we're all limited in what we can do. And I felt such a gratitude to have meaningful work, to be able to talk to people like you, you know, during the pandemic and, you know, and hear what your experience was like doing your show and hear what other experiences were like parenting or doing their work or not doing the work or being more depressed or, you know, what, what, whatever it was. It, it made me feel you know, very connected to people, even though I wasn't actually seeing anybody or being with anybody except my husband. Well, I think that's what radio does. I, I love listening to the radio, uh, especially NPR, uh, because it makes me feel less alone, especially when they're asking me for money, because it makes me feel, <laughs> it makes me feel needed. I think I'm the only needed, one who actually absolutely. likes <laughs> likes the pledge, pledge drives. Um, when you uh, are interviewed by someone, and I assume it doesn't happen all that often, can you relinquish the reins? Have you been trying in your mind to keep yourself from grabbing this interview away from me and start asking the questions? Or can you give that host job up when you're being interviewed? Well, you're a good interviewer, so I can I could give it up. And I'm so just kind of excited by the experience of being on your show that um, and since I just interviewed you, I'm just so curious about what it's like to be interviewed by you. And, and I'm, well, <laughs> I'm enjoying the experience. <laughs> As am I. I hope, Terry, I hope it was good for you, too. Yes. New... <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a cigarette. <laughs> well, new episodes of Fresh Air are on NPR every weekday. Terry Gross, everybody. We'll be right back. Thanks, Terry. Thank you.